Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode and today I have a very very special event that I am invited to go to and a very cool watch that I will show you later. I'm back from my trip to Switzerland and I went to the event for the new Breitling Cosmonaut that maybe some of you have already seen, but obviously I'm gonna show it to you here on this channel. Big thanks to Breitling for the invitation and uh, let's dive right into it. So it was the launch of the new Breitling Cosmonaut. On the day of the event, the 24th of May 1962, Scott Carpenter, the astronaut, went to space. And what did he wear on his wrist? Well, obviously it was a Breitling and it was a Breitling cosmonaut. So 60 years later at the event, the new Breitling cosmonaut was launched. Overall, a great, great event. I really enjoyed it. Obviously, a great watch as well. So when Scott Carpenter was chosen to go to space, he said that he will need something on his wrist, not only in order to do all these flight calculations, and that was actually the big plus point for the Navi timer at that time, but he also wanted something that could tell the time and offer him the opportunity to distinguish between the day and the night, because obviously in space, there is no such thing as night and day. So therefore he said that it would be awesome if he could have a dial or a watch basically that can show the 24 hour cycle. He reached out to Willie Breitling, they created the watch, Scott Carpenter wore the watch when going to space, thus, being the first Swiss watch in space. And the moment he came back down, he landed in the ocean. He wore the watch on his wrist and the watch went for a swim in the ocean as well. The watch did not look good anymore. Didn't work as well. And this is the exact picture of how the watch looks because we had the opportunity to see the original piece that Scott Carpenter wore when he flew to space. It was kept in the Breitling family to later on show it in a museum or show to the public in some occasion with other pieces. This watch doesn't look anything like a watch anymore. The dial is completely destroyed. It's not very pretty. However, instead of repairing the watch, Willie Breitling actually sent Scott Carpenter a new one. And so all the astronauts that were on this NASA mission, they all had the Navitimer cosmonaut as well. Following Breitling's modern retro style, this new cosmonaut features a lot of the design cues of the old cosmonaut. For example, the beautiful 24 hour dial, but it also implements new technological advances like the bezel is not made out of steel instead it is made out of platinum other things like the open case back where you can see the movement and this movement was specially created for this watch and is a hand wound movement that is very very pretty it has 70 hours of power reserve as well the watch overall has a case diameter of 41 millimeters. And for all you strap aficionados out there, the lug width is 22 millimeters. Overall, it's a great watch. 
I was really surprised by how perfectly and nicely the 41 millimeter case of the new Navitimer Cosmonaut fit my wrist personally, because I do have smaller wrists. Therefore, I found it very, very wearable. I'm very thankful actually that they made this Cosmonaut in the 41 millimeter case. The 41 millimeter will be the more common case size for a wide variety of people. Nonetheless, there are two more facts that I don't want to uh, miss out. One being the watch is limited to 362 pieces. The price on the alligator strap is 10,200 euros. There is a version with the steel bracelet at 10,550 euros. That being said, that's all about the new Cosmonaut. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you like it. I really did and honestly I'm fascinated on how the 24 hour thing actually works. Thank you for watching, please do subscribe and as always if you feel like it put a thumbs up. See you in the next episode, bye bye.